Hey guys, Ectomass here. Just want to say this, the following is entirely early in progress or late beta footage. Anything and everything beyond this point will contain spoilers for the upcoming expansion pack, World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor. Thanks for watching and your support. Now let's get to the good stuff. Hey there guys, Ectomaster here. We're back with more character customization of the new character player model. God, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, we, are, we did a video for the Alliance and I did a video for the new Undead Female and Draenei Females. And I figured, as I said and as I promised, I would do a new, no, new video of all the character models of the ones that have been updated and the ones that haven't whenever there's an update. So I'm sticking to my promise and here we are. Well, again, we're only taking a look at five races. That would be the Orc, Undead, Torn, Troll, and Blood Elf. The Goblins and the Pandarans have already, are pretty much already at that point that these new character models are going to be at. So there's nothing to show with them. Now we're going to look at the males and the females, the old and the new. The ones that have been updated, the ones that have not, is what I meant. So, you know, for example, I'm not going to turn the, uh, the, the character models off and go, here's the old ones, now here are the new ones. No, I'm going to show you exactly how they look in the beta right now with the new character model thing turned on. Now, those that are not been updated, obviously, we're going to see a difference. Those that have been, get ready to have your mind blown. Or not. I don't, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, let's get started. So, let's take a look right ahead. Let's start with the orcs and go down the list. So, the orc males, we'll start with the skin colors. Uh, I can never remember how many they have, so sometimes I may scroll all the way up. Sometimes I may scroll all the way down, depending on... If I'm, like, right above the last one, it's going to be obvious. I'm just going to go to that one. Anyways, so here are their skin colors for the male orcs. Now, the male, the male and female orcs have been updated. So we'll get to take a look at those. One that's a little more fun to play with there. Now we'll get to look at their faces. Or his face. It's actually one with red eyes. I kind of like that. Let's go to the red eye one. Hairstyle, so he can be bald, kind of like a top ponytail. It's like that, but cut off. Mohawk, long hair and a ponytail, braided, and then a long braid. Kind of like this. Hair color, gray, gray ing, black, purple, pinkish purple, red, brown, and blue black. That's straight black. And then facial hair. So he has like these uh, mutton chops. A braid. I like that. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen that before. Or I did and I wasn't paying attention. That's really cool. I like that. That's awesome right there. Now I said in the Alliance video, I may take, a look, take these guys into the barbershop. And play around with them in there as well. And show you guys if there's anything. So I don't know what this, I don't know why there's two empty ones, unless there's something that I'm missing. Oh well. Either way, that's one thing that I may do, is uh, play around with these guys in the barbershop and show those off to you. And I know it's like, why are you taking him to the barbershop? Well, there's a reason I'm going to take him to the barbershop. It's because there's other hairstyles that are not on the creator. Customer create your character. It's, they're not here. They're not at this point. They're at the barbershop point. And in order to showcase them, you have to go to the barbershop to show them. I know, it sounds it sounds crazy, but... For example, like the undead female, as I showed in the video for the undead female and drain eye female, there is uh, the boar's tails that they can get. Well, obviously, you don't get boar's tails when you're doing the custom... You know, the, the creator, when you first start out. And I'll sh you'll see that when we do it. Let's switch to the females before I get long-winded. Too late! So here's skin colors, pretty much the same as their male counterparts, which is good. It doesn't offer, you know, too much. It's it's no difference or anything like that. Face. I wish it would zoom in a little bit more for the the female faces, because we could really see their eyes and whatnot on the males. Can't really see it here. Hairstyles, just a long ponytail, braided ponytail, mohawk, a different kind of mohawk. Uh, different types of pigtails, long hair, and then bald. Let's go with the pigtails. Hair color, you have the gray, grayeing, black, 
same thing, no real difference. And then the piercings, which is the real big thing. So you have none, ears, double top ears, nose ring, nose ring and earrings, nose ring and top earrings, and then all three for the ears. They should add an eighth one where it has the nose ring as well. So that would be pretty cool. All right, let's go back and take a look at the undead. Now, the undead, both of them have been updated. So start with the males. Different skin colors, of course. Kind of like that one. It's graying, but not gray. Their face. We're actually going to go to the features first because we're going to turn some things off. There we go. Because you can't really see their faces too well if you have the features on. You can't see the varying degrees in their faces. In this. We'll go to that one. Hairstyle. You have none to the spiky mohawk. To this. Be nice if they would say what the hairstyles are because they say what they are in game, but they don't say here. We'll pick the mohawk for now so that we can show the hair colors, which aren't very wildly changing in color. Like the all black, the straight black. And now the features. The features are probably the coolest thing in game for the undead. Because the undead males, um, I haven't shown a video of this. I would like to show a video of this, but I'll go ahead and talk about it. As you go through the different features, obviously you have things that... I have never understood what this is all about. I just don't get it. What's with the wrap around his face? This. This is the cool, one of the coolest things in game. Because in game, when you walk around, his jaw actually flops up and down. And when he talks, his jaw flops up and down because it's unhinged. Same thing here when he talks. Again, when he moves around, his tongue moves around, which is awesome. Currently in game, it's just like it's like a, a straight like piece of slime hanging from his mouth. The fact that they went and did this, it is I love that look as well. It's like he's got dead eyes and the, the, the jaw is not covered with skin. It is Utterly, I have to say the undead males are probably the coolest thing that that Blizzard has brought to us. I don't think any of the other models look as great as the undead males do. Maybe the undead females. Maybe. I'm stretching it with that. Because they just got the update. So here we go. We'll go through the skin colors. Slightly different. I kind of like this one the, the best, personally. Faces are very, very vast and changing. I love them. They're, you know, old and decaying and craggy. This one is probably one of my favorites because I said in, in the other video that it wasn't really one of my favorites, but it is kind of one of my favorites growing on me because they stitched an entirely different face onto her. That one's kind of interesting. That one almost looks like it's a night elf. That's what's interesting to me. Almost. If you could combine this with that, where like they took the face of a night elf and put it onto her, that would be interesting. That would be very, very interesting. Hairstyle, thankfully, it starts right at the top. Kind of like that. Hair colors, again, decaying looks. And then the features. That's really cool because it's showing the teeth. It's it's really nice. It's not painted on there. And there you have it. Those are the undead male and female. Moving on to the Torn. Now the Torn male, of course, have been updated, but the females have not. Now they have a lot of skin tones here. Because there's varying colors on their fur. And then their faces are not very varying because there's only five of them. Horn style is also very brief. It's it's got a good selection to it. Got it, it really does. I think this is one of my favorites where it's like one of them is broken. That's kind of cool. And then horn color is definitely there's no variation in that. There's only three options. And then uh, facial hair can't change their hair hair, but their facial hair 
It's definitely got some new stuff to it. There you have it. Switch it on over to the other side. You can see, again, just like the pixelation on it. It doesn't look as good. And this is the female Torin compared to her counterpart. I mean, we can go ahead and take a look. You can see he has fingers. He's holding that bow. Hers is just kind of there. Her fingers are just like... They almost look like they are added onto her body and not a part of her body. But we'll move on. We'll keep on looking at it. Here's the faces again. Not very many degrees or changes. And you can tell just the style of this alone that it's old. They say that the female Torrens are actually one of the least played models in game. And hopefully the update will change that. And then the hairstyles are very, very basic. Don't even get to change the... The hair color is, you know, depicted by the skin tone. So there you have it. Those are the Torrin. Now the next two races have not been changed at all. Haven't been touched. And those are the Trolls and the Blood Elves. Both male and female. We haven't seen anything yet. So we'll go through these. Quickly. I mean, there's not much to show, so... There's really no changes. But we'll go through them anyways for posterity. Because why not? And then his tusk. And then we'll switch over to the females. It's kind of interesting. They kind of slid in. That was weird. Face. Hairstyles. So very few hairstyles right now. Hair colors. And tusk. There you have it. And last but not least, we'll look at the blood elves. The females and the females. I mean, the males and the males. Females and females. You know what I mean. I'm kind of excited to see what they bring for the uh, Blood Elves. As most of my characters are either a Goblin, a Blood Elf, or a Pandaren. I don't. I don't really have. Um, haven't really played. I don't really play any other races. I think I have one other. I think I have a. Um, an undead female. Again, if you notice, it's it's the newer models. And there was actually reasons why I didn't play any of the others. Um, the Torrent, I always felt they moved too slow because of their size. And the male and the orcs and the um, trolls, because they started in the same area, I couldn't play them because of that. It, the ground was too red and it hurt my eyes, the, the way the, the ground looked, so I wouldn't play them. And then... Um, Undead, as much as I love them, I could never get into playing one. I just, for whatever reason, I may now because of the new model. I really do like the new mo new male undead model. Faces. Hairstyle. I should have started at the bottom, but oh well, whatever. And hair color. And last but not least will be the earrings. Stripper rings. So there you have it guys. That is all the horde side. Now I will do another update once again when there is a new model that comes out. As I did for this. I will probably do an update on those models. And then I'll show the models that are already in as well. So a follow-up video to this. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Keep your eyes out for the new models. Keep your eyes out and go check out the other video that I did of this for the Alliance side. And until then, I will see you guys next time.